Hello, my name is Harpreet and today we will look at SOLIDWORKS simulation. SOLIDWORKS simulation is a powerful tool for finite element analysis. Today we will be looking at the post-processing of a simple static study. In particular, we will understand the parameter result force and how to calculate it. For the purpose of the study, we will set up a cantilever beam under a distributed lateral load. I have already built the model as shown. The cross section of the beam is tenth of a meter by tenth of a meter and it is one meter in length. Next, let us look at the simulation study which I have already set up. It is a static study with a lateral load of 10 newton per meter squared applied on this face. The area of this face is tenth of a meter squared, so the applied force on this face will be one newton. Also, this face is held fixed as a boundary condition. Now, let us run the study. As we can see, once the study is run, the result folder gets populated with a number of surface plots. However, the parameter we are interested in is the result force. So what is this result force? At first, it may seem it means the resultant force acting on a selected geometry. Let's assume it to be the case and compute it on one of the faces. Let's compute the result force on the face on which the external load is applied. And we know the magnitude of this load is 1 Newton. To compute the result force, right click on the result folder and select list forces. Now select the face and click update. Here you can see the resultant force is different from what we applied. The reason why it is the case is because we are calculating the reaction force. And we know the reaction force is only to be calculated on a fixed phase which is a fixture. Let me demonstrate that by computing the result force on a fixture in our model. Now select the fixed phase and click update. The reaction force I get here is exactly equal to the applied force which is 1 Newton. This further reinforces the argument that the reaction force is only to be calculated on a fixture. Similarly, SOLIDWORKS can calculate forces in other contexts as well. But that will be addressed in a future video. This is Harpreet Mataru and I hope you learned few basics of post-processing in SOLIDWORKS simulation. For more information, check out our website at cadmicro.com or follow us on, on Twitter, LinkedIn or Facebook.